longtime friend, longtime brother, and the new head football coach at Virginia State University. And oh yeah, by the way, somewhat of an author right now. <laughs> so Dr. Henry Frazier joins us right now. Uh, the uh, one-time Southwest Athletic Conference champion trying to reprise his role as a championship coach in the CIAA, but he took a detour along the way. Henry Frazier, how are you? I'm doing well. That's, that's a great way to put it. Yeah, man, you, you're, the, you're the consummate renaissance man, having just left the University of Maryland where you assistant Mike Loxley to take a job at Virginia State. What makes this job the perfect place for Coach Dr. Fraser right now, going back to literally the conference where it all began? Yeah, I, you know, after meeting with the president, meeting with the, the athletic director, you know, they got something special going on down at Virginia State. You know, the desire to be to, to be very successful in, in all their endeavors. And that's very attractive to me. I, you know, I, I, I like to think of myself as a winner. And I like to surround myself around people that, that likes to win. And, and it looks like they're winning the right way. And I just want to be a part of it. I think I can help them along the way, you know, with a, with a championship or two. All right. Let's talk about the book, though. I think that's the most <laughs> fascinating thing that's going on in your space right now. We can double back, uh, come across, and talk more football. But the fact that you became an author and you're writing books with a theme towards children. This is book number one. Let's get, first off, what's the name of the book? What's the genesis behind it? Okay, uh, I created a character, a character called City Boy Seaman. And City Boy Seaman is, is my name. My name is Seaman. I think I knew Seaman before I knew Henry. And, and I was, uh, I think when I went back to D.C. as the athletic director at Dunbar, it kind of stirred up in my spirit. I grew up in Washington, D.C. So as I was working at Dunbar and being around the city all the time, every day, I just saw a need for it. I just saw a need. And um, I left Dunbar and actually took an elementary school job so I can really get a lot of research and, and, and really get a lot of information I needed to, to write this series. And I came up with City Boy Seaman. And a lot of people say City Seaman, a, a City Boy, you know, so it's kind of catchy once you get it. And I created a character. And it's loosely based on me growing up in Washington, D.C. in a different little, um, I guess, mischief or mis, mis, uh, little things that we would get into. And some of them. Uh, not you, Henry. Yeah, you know, I'm like a choir boy, you know. But, right, exactly. <laughs> but it, it, it's actually pretty cool. The first one is. Um, and everything is a theme. Everything starts with C, you know, and then we try to make every word that starts with C in the book capitalized. And um, and the City Boy Seaman has character hitting the bakery. And people that grew up in Northwest Washington, D.C. understands when I say hitting the bakery because of that hostess based bakery that's up there near Howard University and that smell that you would get. And... Um, that's one of the things that, you know, I think is going to be kind of fun when, when people read the book and, and it's, it is geared towards kids ages, I say second through sixth grade, a really smart first grader, but, you know, there'll be some bigger words, but it's, I don't think it's never too soon to start talking to your children about character, about um, peer pressure, about value systems that you instill in them. And that's what this book is all about. And for my older folk, if they remember Fat Albert, it's similar. Whereas him and the Cosby kids would get into stuff and they would always end up doing the right thing. Fat Albert would kind of be the voice of reason. And then at the end of the book, it's a reflection to kind of talk about what was taking place. Henry, so why is the time now for this book? I mean, with so much going on, new job, relocation, uh, getting back to the sidelines, which I know you had a passion for. Uh, to us mortals, that seems like it would have been an enormous challenge. Yeah, well, the books have been written. They've been illustrated, all five of them. And I figured this is the best time to do it before I get 
knee deep in football. Because I know once August get here, it's not gonna be no books and no releases and things like that. I won't even think about this again till March. So if I get it out now, I can kind of manage my schedule and manage my time with maybe a book signing here and there, or maybe an interview here and there. But once August come, I'm not gonna be talking about books. I'm gonna be talking about trying to win some football games. So I thought it was the right time since the book was already completed to go ahead and, and it actually stretched me to, to get it done within within about six weeks to actually get everything out and, and, and <laughs>